Well, Mr. Rowland's sort of an interesting case in that he has known coronary disease and he's already had bypass surgery. And now he has a problem with his main valve, the aortic valve is severely blocked and doesn't open. And um, normally you'd replace the valve with a valve surgery by going to regular surgery. In his case, the surgery is a very high risk procedure due to the fact that he's already had bypass graft surgery and going in there to open up the valve could potentially damage his grafts. So the other option would be to do it through a trans catheter approach, which is much less invasive. The valve area, the annulus, is a little on the large size, and the question is, will the valve, the new valve, fit snugly so it doesn't embolize? And so what we're going to do today is do a valvuloplasty, a balloon procedure, where we break open the valve, and it will make him do better. It will also um, allow us to measure the size of the uh, annulus, the uh, size of the aorta that the valve has to fit in. Our pre-procedural testing suggested that his own aortic valve may have been just a little too large to accommodate the largest transcatheter valve we have available. So what's nice about this balloon valvuloplasty with measurement of the actual size is it lets us get a definitive answer. Either the currently available valves are adequately sized to meet his needs or he literally is going to have to take that little bit of increased risk in order to make it to next year when the new valves will come up, become available. So he could basically um, go home tomorrow after the valvuloplasty procedure and if we find that his aorta will accommodate the currently available 26 millimeter valve, he could have that done in two weeks, probably go home a few days after that. This balloon is very close to the size of the valve, the largest valve we have commercially available. So this is a 25 millimeter balloon in diameter and the largest valve we have is a 26 millimeter valve. So that valve is a little bit larger this, than this balloon. So what we do is we inflate this balloon so that it gets to its 25 millimeter size and then we do an injection through another catheter while it's fully inflated to see how much blood leaks around it to size that aortic valve. And you can see here that this 25 millimeter balloon is actually a pretty good fit for his aortic valve. So there's a little bit of leak of contrast right at the bottom here, right there, a little squirt. But remember, this balloon is smaller than the valve we intend to put in. So that tells us that a 26 millimeter valve will be a good fit for this patient, which is great news for him um, because we can then do his procedure with a minimally invasive approach instead of open heart surgery. Um, and we plan to do it in just a few weeks and get him treated. Mm -hmm.